Hi everyone, welcome to my new update of the horror movie collection. Let's begin. First we have Rose Red, Stephen King miniseries from the early 2000s. I really like this one. It wasn't great, but I like miniseries because I don't usually watch many actual long shows. But mini shows, I enjoy them. Now we go to some modern Halloween stuff that I got. First we have 1031. It's not great, but I actually really like all the stories. It's an anthology, and it's actually perfect if you're looking for something to watch on Halloween. It's really, it's really good. The sequel, though, 1031 is absolute garbage. This one felt lazy and rushed. I will still watch part 3, which is... It's, I think it's already out, but I don't have it yet. The Witching Season. This one's not actually an anthology. It's basically unrelated shorts. So I guess it's kind of a serious. Um, this one's real fine. Uh, I would say I enjoyed mostly all of them. Definitely the Halloween atmosphere is still present here. But I think 1031 is, is the, be the best one out of this. Then Black Pumpkin. This one is not, not anthology. It's a one, one narrative story. It's also low budget, but I f it's kind of charming. I think it's watchable. But, can I recommend it? Well, eh, maybe not. Out there, Halloween Megatape. That's a sequel to WNEF Halloween Special, one of my favorite Halloween movies. The sequel is not as good, but it's still pretty decent. I say watch this one, especially if you like WNEF. The Baron. Mmm, yeah, maybe it's fine. Some people hate it, but I think it's I think it's decent. The Barn 2 is better. Not not by a mile, but it is better. The Last Matinee. This movie is awesome. It's my favorite horror movie of 2020. It's really good. Love it. Sky Package. Another anthology. And uh, uh, this one... I... I, I did not care for it. I think all the stories were... I will say it's better than 1031 Part 2. That movie is just terrible, but this one is not as terrible, I guess. I have seen the sequel. The sequel is much better. The Sleeper. Okay, this is basically a remake of Black Christmas. And, um, well, I still haven't watched the 2019 version, but this one is the worst me so far. It's worse than original, it's worse than uh, 2006 one, but it's watchable. Ice Cream Man. I really enjoyed it. I think it gets kind of boring in the last act, but everything before is really fun. like it. The Boneyard. I would have liked this movie more if there was more creature action. There, there are some good creatures here, but I feel like it's not enough. And I get, yeah, I guess it's, they don't have a much, um, a big budget, but I would have preferred more. Late Day is fine. Lost After Dark. Now, I'm not a fan of slashers, but this one was surprisingly decent. Not great, but I kind of enjoyed it from beginning to end. Now, I, I already have the Omen DVD box set, but I found this Blu ray. For very cheap, and it had much more special features than the DVD, so I bought it as a replacement for the DVD. I know this is a Scream Factory box set, but that one is much pricier, and I feel like it's not worth it. I'm not a fan of these movies, and I'm just glad to have this version instead, because I think all the Scream Factory special features are the same as this release. I'm pretty sure, because it does have all the documentaries about the franchise. And I do have the Arrow Blu-ray of Videodrome. Well, I decided to, to get the Criterion DVD. There is a Blu-ray of this, but since I already have the Arrow one, I'll just get the DVD. Because it is cool to have a different edition, especially from Criterion. And I do like how it looks like VHS. That's pretty cool. The Fun House. Okay, the first 
40 minutes of this, 40 50 minutes, we are pretty good. I love the the carnival setting, it was great. When the main story started, I lost interest, but I think it's it's, it's good. The the first 40 minutes make the movie worth watching. Pumpkin Head. Still haven't watched this one. I'll get to it tomorrow probably. I heard mixed things. A lot of people are fans of this, but some said it was it's just okay. Um, I'm looking forward to it though. And the last one for today is the Changeling. I heard really good things about it. I never seen this movie, so let's hope it's great. A lot of slip cover, all shiny. And that is it for today's update. See you soon.